2008, Erie has really moved its program along very well in eastern southern Africa. Not only have we brought in more than 2,000 uh, new lines for, for, for testing, but we've also brought in equipment um, that we hopefully will, will be able to get manufactured locally. And in fact, we are already in the process of having the threshold manufactured. Also during 2008, uh, we've, we've aligned our programs with water in eastern southern Africa. Um, we're looking at setting up three hubs here in Mozambique, Tanzania and Uganda. This way we're capitalising on, on both institutes' achievements. Um, obviously we're working with water on their upland program and they'll be basically doing a lot of the work in Uganda. We on the lowland program will be working mostly in, in Tanzania and, and in Mozambique. During the year we've also started to stabilise our program. We basically have uh, four broad objectives within the program. The first one is we're looking at obviously germplasm, which you can see here. The second one is in the production, post-production and mechanisation. Third is, is we're looking at the socio-economics of rice production and also trying to help governments develop policy across the region. The fourth area, which is relatively new to us at Erie, is actually developing programs down at village level. We see this is a great way we can partner other institutes, NGOs, the government extension programs, to get our messages down to the farmer in a rapid way. Obviously training is important and we are using training as a cross-cutting exercise through the four program. Also with water, we're going to hopefully develop a large training program for extension people across Sub-Sahara Africa. I firmly believe in this, this part of the world, unless we bring energy into this system, we're never going to go anywhere. With this machine out here, the thresher, farmers can thresh on time. Because what we're seeing is, in, the, in here, for instance, in Mozambique, if they plant in uh, from September through to December, you're looking at a potential five tonnes in an irrigated area. You go January, February, you're down to three tonnes. So we've got to try and get in early. Obviously, when everything's hand ho, chip ho, they have to wait for rain. Whereas if we can mechanise it, obviously we can get in early. <clears throat> the other part on the thresher is that farmers will wait till their crop gets down to 15 or 16 percent moisture because they will hand thresh over a drum. If we can get crops off at 22, 23 percent, we're actually saving up to a month to six weeks of getting a crop out of the field because here crops dry much slower than they do in Asia. So leaving a crop in the field for six weeks doesn't make it. We're already having a mechanical thresher built in Laputa for work here. So that's the sort of system we see will develop. We are in the process of su supporting small enterprise in, in manufacturing equipment. We're not only helping them on the manufacturing and the technical side, we're talking about bringing in business plans and helping them on the business management side.